So thank you for being here. Thank you for, for tuning in a, a bit before the exercise class in half an hour or so. And just as a way to sort of tune up the body, warm up the body. Today we'll be we'll be doing some tapping, tapping on acupuncture points. So um, be in a comfortable, be in a comfortable position. And kind of scan through your body, through how the, the conditions, conditions in your body, even the conditions in your mind or your emotional state of being, just noticing, you know, sort of what things are like right now, you know, maybe with an emphasis on physical conditions, unless there's something else that's, you know, just really up for you, but, and noticing in particular areas that might be tender, that might be tight, that might feel, feel congested or guarded. And really bring some awareness into that, you know, maybe move around a little bit. You know, just see if there's something again that that hurts. I I always find that you know I can move a little bit more easily one way or the other with my neck, you know, my shoulders. I can usually feel a difference. I have an awareness of my back, so just noticing and trying to be as specific as possible. Sort of, you know, I notice that I, my head doesn't turn as easily or as far one way. There's a little bit of tenderness, you know, that I can maybe say, okay, it's tender on a four of a level, scale of 10 or whatever it is. Just try to be pretty, pretty specific. You know, that helps to, to monitor changes. And it also puts us in a, a mood of acceptance. You know, this, this, this body right now is like this, you know, so I'm not resisting it. I'm not pretending like it's not, it's not so. Just accepting it. We have to accept things in order to, to work with them. Now, there are a lot of other steps that can go along with this technique that I'm not doing just because I want to keep it as simple as possible, something quick and easy. So notice that. Notice that that pain or that tension and label it. You know, it might just be this discomfort or these feelings. And if it's something emotional, you know, that really is, is the most prevalent, see if you can notice where that emotion lives in the body. You know, I know that in me, fear, I can feel fear in one place, you know, deep in my, in my guts, or I can feel anxiety, you know, kind of higher up in my guts, you know, like usually somewhere along the core, we may notice sensations that that correspond with emotions so just just noticing what's this moment like and and how does that feel in the body and then just keep a repeating a phrase this discomfort this tenderness this tightness whatever works just kind of repeat that phrase like a mantra just to help you keep your attention on that okay and now we're gonna We'll start tapping on the top of the head. Just thinking this, this tightness, these sensations. Now bring your, your fingers down the forehead slightly off center line to the inner corner of the eyebrow. Listen to these, these sensations. And noticing how the body feels. You know, I often feel this sort of spaciousness, you know, that 
that I might notice a little bit in my head or my neck to the side of the eye now just on this bony ridge these sensations this tenderness under the eye sort of on the bony ridge right below about the middle of the eye this these sensations and you can use both hands if you like I use one hand for one thing. I think it's just easier to see that. Now under the nose, right in the middle of the upper lip, these sensations, this tenderness. And on the chin, this little indentation between the lower lip and the point of the chin. This discomfort. This tightness. And now on the chest and sort of just below the collarbone, just to the side of the sternum. You might also notice if you if you yawn, if you sigh. It's often just an indication of the nervous system sort of relaxing. We'll go through this once again, a little bit fewer words, the top of the head, this tightness, the inner corner of the eyebrow, the side of the eye, under the eye, Under the nose, and chin, and the chest. And we can add one more point here using four fingers right under the armpit. So sort of on the side of the chest. these sensations, and now pausing, just pausing and, and checking in. Now, the first thing that I noticed just as we were tapping again was this sort of, the sense of settling within No, I'm I'm less tight, and the tightness for me is is uh, less tender. So I'm curious, what if anything you guys noticed? Because that sort of guides where we go. So maybe your sensations changed or maybe they didn't. Maybe they got more comfortable. Maybe they got more uncomfortable. Maybe something, something went away and something else replaced it. I notice sometimes less the pain in the lower left back has subsided. Good and less anxious about events from this morning. Good, that's great. And again, one thing that, that I found find so helpful about this, one of many things, is just this attitude of acceptance. You know, if I've had, had events that are still kind of with me and, and disturbing, this, just this acceptance gives me a sense of more spaciousness in my chest and in my mind and lets me be more willing to think of actions that um, aren't necessarily the habitual ones that I may sometimes do that are not particularly helpful to me. So 
So now noticing what's here now. You know, how does your how does your body feel now? You know, areas that were that were tight or that felt guarded. Noticing that again, if there's something else, if another sensation became clear, or sometimes when it's an emotional state of being, one one emotion may kind of morph into something else. You know, maybe if I'm feeling angry or irritated, you know, my my sensation of anger, which I often feel as well in my jaw or my mouth, you know, that as that fades away, then I might be aware of no d disappointment or fear or something else so we can sort of chase chase sensations so just noticing you know, noticing how this moment is and one of the things that i was paying attention to is you know neck and shoulder tightness but just in general, feeling stiff. I, I have purposefully not done a lot of warming up today or stretching. I wanted to see, you know, what if we do this instead of stretching for this period? You know, how much of an effect might that have? So, you know, I'm really going to just sort of concentrate on feeling feeling kind of tight the sense that my my joints maybe are a little bit dried up you know they could they could use a little bit of lubrication i feel like the the um the tin woodsman you know in, in wizard of oz and they you know he had a little a little oil can so that he could keep moving so even having an an image in my mind, you know, of this tapping, you know, is like taking, taking a little, a little can of three in one oil, you know, and, and squirting it into, into the different joints. So, and anything, whatever, whatever is, seems helpful to you. Okay. So let's, once again, going to the top of the head. I'm just noticing now this, this discomfort or this this feeling of tightness coming on to the inner the inner corner of the eyebrow. This tightness. And this is still, it's just going to be on this bony ridge around the eye. You, know, you don't have to be looking in a mirror to be precise, but the inner, the inner part of that. And now just letting the tapping kind of go around that bony orbit to the side of the eye and pause there. Being there a few times, letting the tapping continue under the eye. And then under the nose, in the middle of the upper lip here. And then middle of the, the chin, this little depression between the lower lip and the point of the chin. I'm just noticing if, if you sigh, if you yawn, the front of the chest. This little area right to the side of the sternum, right below the collarbones. And then using four fingers, just right under the under the arm. I mean, if this if you have shoulder pain that hurts to raise your shoulder, don't worry about it. You know, all of the, the the kinetic energy of the tapping is going to move through the entire body anyway. We'll come back to the top of the head. 
will be coming sort of tapping down the middle of the forehead, a little off the center line above the eye and the inner edge of the eyebrow. And then to the side of the eye, underneath the eye. the upper lip, the chin, the chest, and under the arm, And I'm pausing, taking a breath, and just feeling, you know, feeling in the body, noticing again the, the conditions, conditions in the body, even conditions in the mind. You know, my mind was still kind of busy when we first sat down here and it feels like it has also kind of calmed down. I feel a spaciousness. And, you know, all my, all my joints that felt like the tin woodman are, are you know, feel like they have loosened up without, without the kind of effort that I sometimes need to put into loosening up those joints. So again, I'm curious how, yeah, I wasn't able to stretch this morning either. This is more fun. I think so too. I think so too. And we'll stretch you know, we'll, we'll stretch here in just a few moments, but I'm curious what you noticed, or if you have any questions, what would we do next? Feel more, so much more peaceful. Good. Yeah, me too. You felt it was calming as well. Good. Thanks, Carolyn. Yeah, I like I like that. Going into I like this like going into a situation that I'm anticipating to be a little uncomfortable. Um I like to do this or if I if I going into a situation where I need to to speak publicly, you know, I usually sort of enjoy that, but I get I get nervous, you know, I get amped up. There's and and it's it's good. I mean, a little bit of stress keeps us on our toes, you know, not so much that I'm frozen in, in fear, but enough to be energized. So I find that this helps, helps me feel that it's an energizing sort of stress and not a debilitating form. And that enables my throat to relax. I can often hear this in my voice as I, as I tap and, and those muscles kind of relax, a wonderful tool. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, that's great. I think that it is as well. And it's very helpful, you know, like if I've worked with a lot of people who are just working through uh, memories that are uncomfortable you know, and especially memories of frightening times. A lot of times when those memories come back to us, often un unasked for, you know, out of the blue, and they can come back with the, the sensations, this can be very helpful. So in working with people, you know, starting out just, you know, what, how do you feel even if you thought about having this memory? You know, what is that? How do you feel now in the body? And then just sort of tapping through that, you know, or um, I'll have somebody tell me the story. And oftentimes, you know, it's 
kind of like the the ancient mariner who had killed the albatross and then was compelled to tell to tell that story again and again and relive the the pain and the suffering so i asked them to to tell me the story and each time they get you know to one of those places where there's discomfort or you know i can hear or can see you know, sort of the constriction or the rising, the rising level of energy. Even as I'm saying this, I can hear it in my own voice, you know, kind of tightening up with this imagined stress, then pausing, pausing there, you know, to, oh, then, you know, just tapping on this, this, this tight throat or this tight stomach. And and have them tell me the story again and again and again until they're able to go through it without um, without being overwhelmed, without kind of drowning in the emotional impact of that memory coming alive again. And I, I think of it as moving the memory from one filing cabinet to the other. You know, our memories, traumatic memories are stored in one way. And they're not that easy to retrieve, but they're real easy to get triggered and to relive. So as we do this, it allows the brain and the body to kind of metabolize that experience. You know, we can't not have had it, but we can learn to relate to it differently. And this is one of those ways of, of moving that memory, you know, or bits and pieces of it into the filing cabinet of regular memories. You know, this happened to me at that time. I remember, you know, when I was young and I had this car accident and it was really scary and nobody got hurt and I was fine, you know, but in, for the first number of years, I couldn't really get to that. This happened to me and it was a long time ago and, and I'm fine because I would just be overwhelmed by... Uh, the fear and the confusion. So, so it, I I agree that it it is a wonderful tool and very powerful. And there are really any place in the body. I mean, you know, we're we're at, we happen to be tapping on points that would indicate the the beginning or the end of an acupuncture meridian. You know, inner, the movement of energy is plotted through these channels. If somebody has, you know, no interest in, no understanding of, no belief in something like the idea of energy moving through channels in the body, that's okay. Because we're putting, we're putting this energy, you know, into the brain, into the central nervous system. And we're also following you know, in many ways, the root of the vagus nerve. And that's a nerve that's very important for the, a sense of safety. You know, we, we often talk about fight or flight, but really with, with stress, there's fight, flight, and freeze. So there's another part of the nervous system that kind of slows us down a little bit. If we get really slowed down, then we're frozen. But if, if we slow down a little bit, then we're sort of free of the fight or flight part, you know, where, where the body is ramped up and we're just allowing this, this nerve that helps us be aware of safety that can, that can create a much um, different environment for us inside and out the way that we our body is working and the way that we perceive the world around us. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you for, for showing up using test technique. Yeah, I use it. And when I drive you now, there's a lot of acupuncture points are right on the inside of the knees. So if I'm driving and I find that I'm, you know, feeling some some urge to to uh, communicate with with the driver right in front of me or something you know I can if I tap with the flat of my hand on the inside of my knee you know I can I can feel that you know it's almost like I can sense this gentle wave 
of relaxation going through. And it gives me something else to focus on. I can feel that on my palm. I can feel that on my leg. You know, I can bring my attention to how do I feel? You know, with my heart rate, what's my breath like? You know, and I can take my attention off that idiot, you know, who just drove, you know, stupid. 